I've spoken to some of the children. They are sorry so bad. They are sorry so so bad. Some still have dreams that they can make it. And all of them have hopes of, of making it in life. My, my prayer is that God himself will touch them. So that when they, they become great people in the future, they will not forget about their roots. We are concerned of you to just stretch for them and touch the soul. I don't know who they are touching today. I'm telling you that who is this today will touch you tomorrow. Especially to, to Ghanaians who are living out there. Your brothers and sisters are really suffering. If you think about this thing, it could have been you. It could have been you. You're 16 years, 17 years. You're 16 years, you're 18 years, you're 14 years, you're 20 years, 21 years old right here. And you have written to yourself. But there's some living in the streets of Accra, on the streets of Tema, on the streets of Ghana, always begging for food before they eat. They don't get the conflicts. They don't get the rise that we get in the afternoon. And, 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 and supper time is something that they they, they, they don't even think of. God is there to help them. If you can touch them, please, and please, and please, as you watch this interview, just allow yourself to speak through you.